A quick question about compression. Do you think uh, the human mind could be compressed? The, the, the biology could be compressed. We talked about space travel. To be able to compress the information that captures some large percent of what it means to be me or you, and then be able to send that at the speed of light. Wow, that's a big question. And uh, let me try to take it apart, unpack it into several pieces. I don't believe that wetware biology such as we are has an exclusive uh, patent on in, on intellect and consciousness. I suspect that other structures in the universe are perfectly capable of producing the data streams that we use to process, first of all, our observations of the universe and, and an awareness of ourself. I, I can imagine other structures can do that also. So that's part of what you were talking about, which I would uh, have some disagreement with. Consciousness. Yes. What's the most interesting part of Consciousness? Of uh, us humans. Is consciousness is the thing. I think that's the most interesting thing about humans. And then you're saying that there's other entities throughout the universe. I could imagine, I can well imagine that the architecture that supports our consciousness, again, has no patent on consciousness. Just uh, in case you have an interesting thought here, there's uh, folks perhaps in philosophy called panpsychists that believe consciousness underlies everything. It is one of the fundamental laws of the universe. Do you have a sense that that could possibly fit into I model? don't know the answer to that question. One part of uh, that belief system is Gia, which is uh, that there's a kind of conscious life force about our planet. And, you know, I've encountered these things before. I don't quite know what to make of them. I my own exp life experience, and I'm, I'll am i be 69 in about two months, and I have spent all my adulthood thinking about the way that mathematics interacts with uh, nature and with us to try to understand nature. And all I can tell you from all of my integrated experience is that there is something extraordinarily mysterious to me about our universe. This is something that Einstein said uh, from his life experience as a scientist. And this mysteriousness almost feels uh, like the universe is our parent. It's a very strange thing perhaps to hear science say, scientists say, but there are just so many strange coincidences that you just get a sense that something is going on. <laughs> well, I interrupted you in terms of compressing uh, yes. what we're down to we can send it at the speed of light. Yes. So, so the first thing is I would argue that it's probably very likely that artificial intelligence uh, ultimately will develop so, uh, something like consciousness, something that for us will probably be indistinguishable from consciousness. So that's what I meant by uh, our biological uh, processing equipment that we carry up here probably had, does not hold a patent on consciousness because it's really about the data streams. I mean, that's as far as I can tell, that's what we are. We are uh, self-actuating, self-learning uh, data streams. That to me is the most accurate way I can tell you what I've seen in my lifetime about what humans are at the level of consciousness. So if that's the case, then you just need to have an architecture that supports that information processing. So let's assume that that's true, that, uh, that in fact, what we call consciousness is really about a, a very peculiar kind of data stream. If that's the case, then if you can export that to a piece of hardware, uh, something metal, electronic, what have you, then uh, you certainly will, ultimately that con kind of consciousness could get to Mars very quickly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have our problems. You can engineer the body. As I said, it's a ship or a body. You engineer one or both. Um, send it at a speed of light. Well, that one is a more difficult one because that now goes beyond just a matter of having a data stream. It's now the preservation of the information in the data stream. Mm. And so unless you can build something that's like a super, super, super version of the way the internet works, because most people aren't aware that the internet itself is actually a miracle. It's based on a technology called message packaging. So if you could exponentiate message packaging in some way to preserve the information that's in the data stream, then maybe your dream becomes true. 